Welcome. This is going to be a two-part tutorial on bulleted lists and numbered lists. So say for example you want these paragraphs to have a bullet. Right up here in the paragraph control bar are these little icons called bulleted list and numbered list. In this instance I'm just going to click on bulleted list and you automatically get a nice set of bullets for those paragraphs. If you want to alter the space in here now you can't do it from the control bar, you have to option click on that bullet icon and you get this uh, bulletin number position. Here is where you control the indent between the bullet and your paragraph. If I want to go a, bit, a little bit less, I'll go an eighth inch. See now that changes in there. This, the left indent, controls the space here. I could leave it indented if I'd like, but if I put it the same as my negative value, I get a nice lineup of the bullets. Now if you want to customize your bullets and make them look different. In this case I want them red and larger. Again select it, option click here, and I've pre-set up a character style that styles the bullet the way I would like and I apply it there from my character style list. Now if you want to get really fancy you can add special bulleted characters. In this case again option click here. What I did here is I clicked add and it brought me and I chose zap uh, dingbats as my font and I pick the characters that I'd like and I brought them in here. So look I can add a checkbox or check marks. So there's a lot of things you can do with this and it's all automatic and you're not worried about spaces and indents and things getting lined up and there's quite a bit you can do. So that's it for the bullets section. Uh, come watch part two to learn about the numbering.